Hello, and welcome to the final game of the regular season of the UNPL Spring Fling. Uh, I'm Zand, I'm the coach of the Hydres, and we are in for a really fun game this time, I believe. Uh, our opponent is Ruppy. Uh, the two of us are playing for essentially regular season uh, winner. We're both 5-1. Uh, there's a chance that my diff is worse than Ruppy's, and there's a guy at second that's also 5-1. So if I win like 1-0 and that guy wins at all then i won't be regular season champ but there's a good chance that if we win good differential anyway it doesn't matter i'm bringing out like a meme team because ruppy and i are almost certainly going to meet in playoffs um so obviously we don't neither of us want to show our sets to each other i'm bringing half rain with some really really weird stuff if you look at the items on screen and then um He's bringing a chat GPT generated team, apparently. He's modified some of it, so it's not nonsense. But like, yeah, we're in for a good battle, I think. Um, I'm really actually excited to use this Arbalova set. I hope it pops off because Terra Normal Hyper Beam uh, <laughs> should always claim one against him unless he's Terra Ghost. He's got the like Cryogonal, so that could be like Terra Ghost or like Terra Ground versus me and like this or in our actual game i'm not sure i feel like cryo looks pretty good um and then he has terra like in midnight as well so i don't know what he'll do with that i'm just waiting on him to ping me um to start the battle so i will put a timestamp in because it will be a minute but yeah we're bringing some funny stuff adrenaline orm swords dance cobalion because call mine just isn't going to break his team but if we get a plus one stone edge can like ko arcanine so yeah it's pretty funny um let's see he says he's good to go whenever you are all right searching now and we will search we'll switch the music off of um the uh, champion music terra dark sneasel and terra normal arbo Oh, and he brought both of his Terra Captains as well. Terra Grass, Lycan Rock, and Terra Fire Cryogonal. That is cool. Uh, Terra Fire Cryogonal kind of messes with my Talonflame plans a little bit. Um, so I don't know why, but whenever people tell me to meme, um, I keep bringing rain, <laughs> like manual rain. So I left off Primarina, Seraledge, and Reverum, and Flygon this week. Not that I thought they looked bad, just because I don't want to show off any sets on them that I would want to bring anyway. Our dedicated lead, funnily enough, is Sneasel, because we really don't want rocks going up. He brought all three of his rockers, I believe. So turn one taunt is pretty important. If Sneasel goes down immediately, I'm okay with that. If it's like a rock blast lead like in rock, then he got me like crazy. Uh, or at least Chat GPT did. Uh, no Gardevoir. No Arcanine, so over prep for that a bit, I suppose. No Kilowattrel. Oh, and that's his whole team. He only has nine Pokemon. Okay. So he has five fighting weaknesses. So Cobalion kind of goes crazy here. Uh, brought both his normal resist, unfortunately, unless like Nort Rock Terra's. Uh, pretty weak to Ice, Ground, Steel. So Cobalion looks insane. Uh, whether or not we can win with it's another story, but we're going to try. So yeah, good luck. Have fun to Ruppy. I'm excited for this one. Uh, this will be a short season, so I think we're guaranteed playoffs at this point, unless I get 6 0 and then maybe the people in the middle can make it, but I'm pretty sure 4th or 5th is like 2 and 4 going into this week, so there's just no way. Um, so, but regardless, I think playoffs is only top 4, so I don't think we have too much to worry about. Leads with the Cyclozar. Um, interesting. So it makes me think it's going to be like Bandit or like Specs, you know? Okay, so Sneasel into Cyclozar. Ice Shard's doing over half. Knockoff is also taking a KO. There's no reason to taunt this. There's also no reason to Swords Dance turn one. So it does U-turn. We're Sash, so okay, we lived on half anyway. I kind of wanted to run Pickpocket with Min Defenses, but I could not get a Sneasel with Min Defenses, so I ended up just going with... Uh, like inner focus i guess he's got like an intimidator so they made some sense um yeah we will claim an item here which is fine uh this was never our terra like mod of choice anyway because his options to hit grass types are pretty big but his options to hit a normal type are not great so <laughs> oh our Bolova is trailblaze at plus one it i think it always outruns lycanroc and at plus two it always outruns kilowattra which he didn't bring but uh, that's a pretty cool tech 
Uh, Empoleon comes in. This knockoff does a good amount. Uh, we can kind of get an idea of the set, because we are adamant max attack, so... I was worried this would be, like, a setup Empoleon, so it looks to be, like, max health. Maybe a little more bulky. Um, I will just go for taunt, and just so he can't do anything cheeky. If he knocks me out, it's totally fine, because this Sneasel was meant to be a, a lead that just goes down anyway. It was just to help me prevent rocks of any kind from going up. Uh, not bringing Kilowattril, so his only real check for Reggie, Lecky, well, Cyclozar and Cryo. So we do Taunt. What do you go for? Surf. Okay, so you will probably knock us out with this. But yep, that's fine. So, we'll bring up my... I don't think he needed any investment to knock me out, which is pretty funny. Uh, Reggie Lucky is our easiest bring in here. Um, eel is also an option. I kind of like the eel because he like he just brings in Crooked Owl and we have to play games with that. So eel at least makes him have to think for half a second about what he wants to bring in. Oh, and uh, eel bugs out this uh, stadium apparently. <laughs> so yeah, we're pretty standard AV, no electric move because uh, we didn't really need it because I assumed he was going to prep really hard for electric coverage anyway because we have a Reggie Lucky. So I just went with all of eel's best support moves pretty much. Didn't think too much about the prep this week if we're being completely honest. Um, just wanted to bring a mixture of fun and not giving away <laughs> anything I actually want to do unless I bring this exact team in playoffs, which, you know, maybe I will. Maybe uh, this, this is all a bluff and I bring this identical team. But yeah, I also just wanted to use Eel because I have not yet used it since we made transactions. And I think I've only brought Flag on like one or two times this whole season, like seven week season, but people always prep like crazy for it. So yeah. Uh, he does switch, so that's good. We'll get some initiative here. He goes into Zubal, <laughs> which I love the nickname. The Amoongus, okay. Uh, we'll do Baby Chip to it. Do we take Rock? Rocky Helmet? We do not. Electros into Amoongus. Uh, I mean, I can't really tell. It looks defensive. Talonflame is a pretty easy bring in here for me. Uh, could also go Lucky, but I do like the Talonflame. Uh, now that we know he's not Helmet, I can go into Talonflame and I can just immediately U-turn. He's Black Sludge, I believe. Yeah, Black Sludge, okay. So of course I can U-turn here. I could drop a Hurricane, but I don't really want to give away my set. He's not Koba Berry. So just to get an idea. A hurricane would one-shot unless he's very spadef, but I will just U-turn. If he stays in, something sleeps here, I suppose. Uh, I could go into Arbolova. Okay, he does stay in. Well played. Uh, Spore or Sludge Bomb is most likely here, right? I really don't want to take the damage on Arbolova. So I'm going to go back into uh, Eel, which we need the ground immunity. Uh, it does Spore. Damn. Okay. So we do have Sleep Fodder now, unfortunately. Could have went to Arbolova, but I don't want to take damage on it if I don't have to. Uh, I doubt he calced it, but he might notice that our Talonflame is not attack invested. Uh, obviously, this is Sleep Fodder, so he could hit us with like a Sludge Bomb now. I kind of want to make a double into Eleki. The worst that could happen is he doubles into Crocodile here. Uh, obviously, we didn't burn a turn of sleep on our eel, so that's not great, but we can worry about that later, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's just go for Sludge Bomb, so that's fine. That's why we didn't go into Arbo before. Uh, I'm going to set Rain, honestly. Set Rain, and if he goes into Crook, we'll probably hard switch into Talonflame, which is probably not advisable. We might just get smacked by a knockoff and no longer KO it with Hurricane. But I feel like an Earthquake is pretty easy for him to click. Actually, I bet a knockoff KOs me from here. Wait. That's like... Oh, never mind. That's Electros. Reggie, like, yeah, that's that's normal. <laughs> Amoongus damage. I was going to say, is that like Specs Amoongus? But I was looking at the wrong Pokemon on the calc. Stays in. Let's me set a Rain Dance. Uh, just goes for another Sludge Bomb. This may KO. Does not KO. 
Uh, now we have to play the mind game of if he wants to stay in. I think I can go for Terra Blast for Baby Chip that also hits Crocodile coming in. So we'll just go for that. Uh, the game is <laughs> looking a little laggy with the rain. Could have went for Thunder. It would have done more damage, but it's fine. So he does get a Sludge Bomb, but we get to enact the next part of our plan, which is Specs Talonflame. Uh, he appears to be a pretty fizzed up Amoonga, so this Hurricane should KO always. So, <laughs> unfortunately, we've lost our Rain Setter, and our Eel is fully asleep, so we're essentially down to six Pokemon 11 minutes in. Uh, less than that, really, but <laughs> we will we'll survive, I think. Or we'll lose, but hopefully we take a couple KOs first to save our differential. <laughs> uh, so we'll switch out this time. Probably knows what's coming. But we are Gale Wings, so it is um, Priority Hurricane. Uh, it's not going to two-hit KO, though. Man, huh, I was hoping that chip earlier would have been enough. So I can go Arbo here and try to get it set up, I guess. <laughs> And we're going to have to play with bad accuracy later, but that's that's a problem for later. Uh, yeah, because another Hurricane will knock him out and a Surf <laughs> almost certainly KOs me. So we'll bring Arbo back in. He probably Surfs, yeah. Totally fine. We'll take some Chip. Oh my. Why did that do half? We're Assault Vest. Is that Specs? I thought that was Defensive. Because he's not in, uh, not in range of Torin, I don't think. I'm not going to Terra here. He can Ice Beam. I guess an Ice Beam would knock me out based on the damage he did earlier. I'm faster anyway. Okay. I could have terra I didn't Terra. I should have terra Set Stealth Rock. So that sucks for Talonflame because I've let my, um, let my Spinner go down. So Talonflame takes half on switching, uh, which is not what you want to see. I will Terra here, I think. Go for a second Trailblaze, get us faster than his whole team. And then, uh, Lycanroc's gonna eat one. I don't know if it KOs us back. That's still crazy that that Surf did as much as it did. I'm missing something, man. Does that mean this Surf KOs me? If he goes for Surf here? Hmm, I might have made a mistake. Because that was our resistance gone. So if he starts instead of ice beams, we're in danger. Uh, we don't knock him out with that trailblaze. Okay, ice beams. So we got that right. Shouldn't KO. Did it nothing? What? Did it crit? Did I miss the crit earlier? I probably missed a crit earlier. <laughs> so we are faster than everything that's not scarfed now. A tra another trailblaze probably knocks him out, but I'd rather have health. Uh, his Grass Resist are Amoongus and Cyclosar. Either of them could come in, but neither really wants to take a max special attack Hyper Voice. I'm going to have to look later. Maybe there was... Maybe he was in Torrent. I'm not positive. Uh, Amoongus? Amoongus, okay. Amoongus comes in. Uh, Giga Drain does literally nothing. He can't put us to sleep, and he shouldn't be able to one-shot us with anything. Yeah, um, if we're Terra normal, yeah, he's not doing much. And then Hyper Beam, or Hyper Voice should two-shot here. I think we'll lose our Grassy Surge soon. If Hyper Voice doesn't two-shot, I'm going to have to go for Hyper Beam, <laughs> which is not preferred, but it would be funny, so I'm okay with it. We'll get our Terra normal Hyper Voice off, so I finally got to run the super offensive Arbolova set. He just goes for Giga Drain, so he gets health back. He will live another now. Uh, can Sludge Bomb on the next turn to try for a poison. Rain does go away, unfortunately. I think our Grassy Train will go away at the worst possible time, too. Uh, he gets enough health back to live another Hyper Voice, but I don't think it's worth me burning another turn of... Or going for Hyper Beam, knocking him out, and then him getting a free switch. I think that's just asking to lose. So we'll just go for another Hyper Voice. Uh, should hurt Lycanroc a lot. Uh, CC from Lycanroc knocks us out, but a Giga Drain knocks him out first. Does switch. Uh, Lycanroc or Empoleon, I'm guessing. Uh, Empoleon, okay. So Empoleon's the sack. 
I'm still, I really need to find out why that did so much damage before. I know I'm going crazy about it. I'll put it in the text below, I'm sure, but it's driving me mad. So get the KO there. Did not get 6 0 which is always a victory, especially when you're bringing a meme team. Hopefully, no, his answer here can't be Crook unless it's Scarf Crook. So our Sneasler is gone. Our Reggie Lucky is gone. Talon Flames effectively at half health. Eel's effectively gone because it's asleep. And then his Empoleon is gone. Um, Cyclozar is not hurt at all. Amoongus healed most back with Regenerator, I'm sure. Um, if any of his top three are Scarfed, then they still outrun me. He is looking so weak to the mixture of fighting and steel. Amoongus just needs some more chip, and Cobalion actually just wins this game outright. Uh, yeah, because I think Cryo at plus one is not going to want to take a close combat. I can calc it, even if it's Terra Fire. Cryo is the switch in here, so I don't want to go for Giga Drain, but this should not do anything to me. Hyper Voice should be a clean three shot back. I will go for one, and then if he doesn't Terra, I'll Giga Drain next turn, because I'll assume he's saving the Terra for Lycanroc. Uh, and if he hits us again, we get more recovery, so that's a positive. But yeah, he's not doing more than 20% to me unless he's, like, significantly invested. So I feel pretty good about this 1v1 matchup. He does Terra Fire. So I'm glad if we didn't Giga Drain. Hyper Voice is a 3-shot on really Spadef Cryo, so it might even be a 2-shot. Oh, that looks so cool with the shiny. Oh, the Fire Flake. So no know this is. Sludge Bomb. Giga Drain and Spore. Uh, almost half, okay. Rapid Spins to get faster than me. I didn't set rocks. Reactivate Seed Sower. I get healing. He doesn't. Um, I might Trailblaze. Okay, he's lefties. That's a little annoying. I might Trailblaze, but he might actually still be faster than me. If he's plus one and I'm plus three. <laughs> Which is really sad. Um, no, I should always outspeed unless he's timid. I mean, I could just go for two more hyper voices. I don't see a problem with that. He goes for Ice Beam. This does 20%. 60 damage. Okay, so another one definitely KOs. So, Ice Beam... That's defensive cryo. That's like no attack investment cryo. So, we can actually take two more, but it's not worth playing with it. He's recover. Eventually we can crit. Um, could also <laughs> go for hyper beam, I suppose. But I just don't want to reveal that yet, honestly. I want to blow something up with that right before we drop. He's gaining slightly, but he's one crit away from losing cryo. Um, for effectively just baby chip on Arbo, so I'm okay with that. I could go for Trailblaze, but the, I really do think he's fast. Like, if he's timid and we Trailblaze, we just gave up our Bolova for no reason. It's two recovers. So Cryo is... Spin, Ice, Beam, Recover. Probably Terra Blast last. If I had to guess. And it's Leftovers and, like, Max HP. So I'm thinking it's like max HP, max speed. Maybe a little bit of spadef for spatak. He's getting to where he's out of range of two, and that's frustrating to me. But we're already going to heal back all the damage we took from Ice Beam. So n net, it's totally fine with me. Now, if we were AV, not Seed Sower, then it would not be fine. But yeah, it's a little bit stally right now. Apologies for that. At least we're both clicking our moves really fast. Yeah, we've already healed past what the Ice Beam did. So we're in pretty good shape uh, at this point. He's playing with. Uh, yeah, we all know. We all know what the win condition is here. We get the seed sower, so healing is back online. Uh, we'll get a hyper voice. I I, I almost want to trailblaze here. Okay, lifts on one. I could Giga Drain, but it's not getting me any health back, honestly. Like, yeah, it's giving me 8% back, which isn't bad. He's actually going to stall me out of Hyper Voices now that I'm looking at it. So I will go for one Giga Drain. 
Oh, he actually sacks Crowder. Well, I hope this knocks him out. Okay, it does. <laughs> Yikes. That was almost scary. So he's got a Cyclozar with U-Turn. He's got an Amoongus with, that we know a lot about. And then he's got a Crocodile and a Lycanroc. Neither of which we've seen, but Lycan can no longer Terra. So Lycan cannot be the switch in here unless it's Sucker Punch. Uh, maybe he was predicting the like bulkier Arbo set. <laughs> That's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, we can see if a Lycanroc Sucker Punch kills us. Of course, it, there's nothing in the calc for it. So Cyclozar is the switch in. Uh, Sucker Punch from Lycanroc might KO if he's max attack. No, shouldn't. So Cyclozar comes in. He's AV. Draco is doing... Standard Draco is doing 91 max. We always outspeed this. And Hyper Voice might be a two-shot. And that's if he's AV. If he's not AV, Hyper Voice is definitely a two-shot. So we'll see if he's like Overheat or Double Edge. If he's either of those. Oh, not... A, oh. <laughs> um... Um... Okay. I don't know what the Cyclozar set was, but it clearly wasn't Spadef. Okay, so I guess if it's no HP, no Spadef um, Cyclozar, that's a roll in our favor. If he's any investment at all, the roll shifts toward him, but that's kind of crazy. Uh, Zubul comes back in. Amoongus is healthy as can be. Uh, obviously, we hyper voice once. Maybe this is where we hyper beam. Because Sludge Bomb won't knock us out. Oh, okay, no, we don't need the Hyper Beam. Gate Drain will heal him some, but... He might... Yeah, he goes down to another Hyper Voice, I'm pretty sure. Or it's close. It's probably a roll, honestly. That's how it's been all game. But his uh, Giga Drain won't knock us out either. So, yeah. This Arbo? Oh, man, I'm so happy. Uh, we've had Arbo for so long. It was good, like defensively for us at one point and then we just sacked it a couple times and then we brought Terra Malamar, we brought Terra Sneasel, I keep wanting to say Sneasler. Um, so yeah, it feels like Arbo never got its time in the spotlight so I'm really glad that we got to showcase it before playoffs when we have to kind of buckle down and use the best set. So we knock out Amoongus. Uh, Arbo is going absolutely crazy right now. Uh, Gummy Goo is Crook. We've lost our terrain, so the funny thing is, we may not KO Crook with Giga Drain. The funny thing is, Hyper Beam would KO, but there's there's not a point. Now, if he's Scarf, we'll find out right here. But I feel like if he was Scarf, he would have done this earlier. I didn't realize it would claim four KOs, which is really, really, really funny. He is Scarf. Knocks us off and knocks us out. Okay. So we should have went for that extra Trailblaze at one point. Man. Could have had a 6-0 with Arvo. But I don't think we ever really had room to go for another Trailblaze. I guess on Cryo we could have. But then if it outspeeds us, then we're in bad shape. So I don't know. So we have... So he's Scarfed in a knockoff. Which means Cobalion is absolutely free. Did he show Intimidate? Oh my gosh. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see if he showed Intimidate. Uh, if if he's Intimidate, then we Sword Stance here. Right? Because I don't think Cobalion knocks out Crook. Uh, and should always knock out. Oh, not at minus one though. So I do need the Sword Stance here. So he does switch. Okay. Now if he's Scarfed Lycanrog as well, we're in bad shape. Um, but it seems, Let's see, okay, no, no items or anything. It might be Mirror Herb, which would be really funny, uh, because people do enjoy running Mirror Herb versus me. He's not. We get Grassy trained back to full. Uh, do we have to have to worry about Close Combat not knocking him out? We're at plus two. Uh, Iron Head should always knock him out, and I think he's less likely to run a Steel Resist Berry, and if he's, like, Sash, then... We get the flinch. Okay, he's not Sash. Cobal gets the KO. Cobalion goes one and something, which I think we know how this is going to end. Lycan 
It goes 0 and 1, and then he'll come in. Please be Intimidate. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, is Intimidate, so we lose our attack, but we pop our Adrenaline Orb. And now we always outspeed a Crocodile. Yeah, Adrenaline Orb pops at plus 1. Yeah, we're always outrunning Crook. And CC always KOs. So, <laughs> we had a half health, effectively, Talon Flame in the back, and we had... <laughs> An eel that's not a single turn of sleep burned that would have just been dead weight. But I guess it stopped him from clicking EQ. Actually, Talonflame did too. So there was nothing he really could have locked in there in the end anyway. But really happy to see our Bolivar and Cobalion do something. Because we've had them on our team for a while now. And they just refuse to do anything. So Talonflame and Electros end up going O and O. Our Bully Lucky Sneasel that goes... Uh, got KO'd, and then he got three Pokemon that got KO's and three that did not. So, GG's to Ruppy. Oh, man. I really want to see your sets. I know you said you really wanted to share them with me after the fact. I hope they weren't like like you didn't just take ChatGPT's like, kind of throw sets. Um, but, I mean, they seemed fine. The sets all seemed fine. Scarf Crook makes sense into me. A lot of the sets really made a lot of sense. So, I don't think it was a throw, but it was a really good game. I think our ball of a if we went for one more Trailblaze at some point against Cryo, maybe when it was recovering, uh, our Bolivar could have got the clean 6-0. But unfortunately, we lost that, but Cavalion got to get a couple of KOs. And we end up going 6-1 for the season. We only took one L, and uh, yeah, that feels pretty good. And um, I mean, we're going on to playoffs. Like I said earlier, top four is playoffs, so it's only two playoff games. So, uh, I mean, this season's almost over. It's either over in one or it's over in two. So I've loved this team. I'd honestly like to use it some more. Uh, if you enjoyed the battle, leave a like, um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you for playoffs.